Welcome to Strange Brigade, a rip-roaring action-adventure video game to be enjoyed solo or with friends in what the boffins call online co-op for two to four players. You will explore ancient civilizations, uncover untold mystery, and unearth astonishing artifacts. But it's not all tickety-boo and afternoon tea. No, the Brigade's primary mandate is to dispatch evil wherever it may lurk. Let's see what terrible tyranny you will be facing. Embark on an adventure into danger in Strange Brigade's bountiful story mode for one to four players. Trouble abounds in North Africa. Archaeologists have gone missing, and Seteki the Witch Queen walks across Egyptian sands once more. Under her command, an army of unthinkable monstrosities. Rancorous mummies, sword-wielding assassins, fiendish fire-breathing terrors, deadly scorpions, teleporting ghouls, skeletal pirates, towering guardians, and worse, it's a veritable sea of undeath. And if Seteki's legion of devilry isn't enough, a minefield of hidden traps, treacherous puzzles, and precariously placed explosives lie in wait. Hordes of ancient demons, doom-laden tombs, and a witch queen hell-bent on resurrecting her evil empire. What manner of heroes are capable of felling such ungodly villainy? It's time to meet the Strange Brigade, the secret organization tasked with saving the world from ethereal terrors. First, there's Gracie, a hardy lass. Gracie may be a little down to earth, but she's not one for dithering. She's lightning fast with a combustible, and she's got a mean right hook too. Next up, Nalangu, a Maasai who's traveled across Africa honing her skills as a spirit warrior. Quick on her feet, years of rigorous training have given her the power to drain the very life from her foes. My word! Ah yes, Professor Archimedes de Quincy. World-renowned archaeologist and scholar. Splendid discoverer of hidden secrets. And last but certainly not least, Frank Fairburn. A sharpshooter more comfortable with treasure than he is duty. But Frank's made of sturdy stuff, all right. Four very different heroes from four very different paths. Using ancient amulet thingamajigs, the brigade can harness the souls of the undead before giving the enemy a taste of their own supernatural medicine. There are 16 unique amulet powers in total, and each adventurer can pick from one of four. Take Gracie's Days of Heaven, for example, which launches poor souls into the air before crashing them back down to Earth. Or how about Frank's Call of Seteki, with which our humble mercenary can summon the undead to fight alongside him, the cheeky sausage. As for Archie's divine poultry punishment, well, quite. If you feel supernatural powers are just not cricket, then Strange Brigade also offers a more civilized option. The finest firearms available. Shotguns. Semi-automatic rifles. Hunting rifles. Submachine guns. Pistols. And all manner of grenades. They've got the lot. Happen upon any prototype weapons on your travels and they're yours to use. Well, for a limited time only, of course. Like the bombastic blunderbuss, or this rather explosive crossbow. Keen adventurers would do well to explore off the beaten track and behind confounding contraptions. Find and open treasure chests to acquire gold and all manner of glittering goodies, including powerful gems. Install these mystical jewels at the conveniently placed workbenches and bestow rather jazzy buffs on your guns. From deadlier headshot to healing powers and freezing ice bullets. Brrr. The adventure doesn't stop with the Strange Brigade story campaign. Why not face wave after wave of foul fiends in horde mode? 
Or maybe you fancy a cheeky twist on the Strange Brigade formula in Score Attack. It's just like the campaign, you can brave both Horde Mode and Score Attack alone or with friends. So what are you waiting for? With their individual proficiencies, bombastic weaponry, and supernatural vigor, if anyone can stop Seteki, it's the Strange Brigade! <laughs>